What's up, what's up, Builders Club TV Nation? You got Dewan Jones here, your professional stay-at-home dad. And boy, am I excited tonight for the guests we have on the show, family. We got an entrepreneur, internet marketer, online business coach, legendary on the internet. You probably know the name if you're on the internet and you're spend, spending time on the internet at all. You probably know the name Mark Harvard. We got him on the show tonight, family. Uh, let me get myself on camera so I can speak to you live and direct. And uh, thank you. Thank you again for tuning in. Thank you again for spreading the word about the Builders Club. Up TV. We're excited that you're here. Uh, we're excited that you uh, are getting the value. You've been letting us know that you're loving the show. We're going to continue to do our job and bring you the value and bring you phenomenal people doing phenomenal things. Let me make sure we got our good friend uh, Mark Harbert on with us. Uh, can you hear me okay, uh, Mark? Awesome, awesome. There you go. What's going on, man? Hey, hey, man. Doing good. Doing good. Just, uh, you know, waiting for uh, to cool down a little bit here in Florida. So. Oh man, <laughs> I gotta tell you, man, we we've been uh, uh, in bad shape over here in Houston, man, with the flooding and the, and the weather, man, it's oh, been yeah. pretty bad. So, but we're hanging in there, man. We're excited to have you on the show again. Thank you for coming yeah, on, Mark. Me. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Looking forward to chatting. Definitely, definitely. Well, what we want to do, um, what we do, if you've seen the show a little bit, Mark, we like to do what we call in the family knows we, we jump into the Builders Club TV time machine, man. And we take the family back because we've learned uh, we've, been, we've had the opportunity so far to speak with so many great people like yourself. And we've discovered that there's so much to learn when you dig a little bit into the past of successful people. So while we have you here tonight, that's exactly what, wanted, what we want to do is we want to learn a little bit about your path to success. Can we do that, man? Yeah, of course. Absolutely. Awesome. Absolutely. So, yeah, go ahead. Awesome. Awesome. So, hey, man, if, if you will, let's jump into that time mm -hmm. machine we talked about and uh, take us back. Let us know, okay. Mark, what were you, what was life like for you, man? Or what were you doing basically before you discovered what you do now, uh, you know, in, in the online industry and uh, working from home? Yeah. So for me, I started out um, probably, well, my my journey into entrepreneurship started in network marketing in the year 2000. I was actually living in Ohio at the time and I got, uh, I was at a gas station and I was working in the air conditioning industry. I was an air conditioning tech and um, I was at a gas station and I was filling up my tank and the guy come up to me and said, hey, you look like a sharp looking guy <laughs> and uh, you know, got my phone number and then I ended up meeting him a few days later at a Denny's restaurant. And, um, that's when I kind of got the entrepreneurial bug at that moment. Um, but for me, you know, uh, I had a huge journey of personal growth to go through, uh, and, until I had success, I actually, uh, so I got started in the home-based business industry and then I started really taking to online marketing in about 2008. And I started um, researching online how to how to take my business online, and uh, I started delving into Google AdWords mm -hmm. and starting to understand how to drive traffic and get leads, and and um, so that started my journey. And it wasn't until 2012 where I had my breakthrough, and it was a real struggle up until that point. Yeah, not because it wasn't easy per se but it was because I hadn't gotten to the point in my mind yet where I was kind of ready to receive success. Right. And okay. so in 2012, I, on, I got to a point where my back was literally against the wall. I had $7 in my bank account. Wow. And, um, I, my daughter and, and uh, wife, we, we needed food. I was actually living in South America at the time in Chile and we were broke. Hmm. And so something snapped in my head yeah. and it was like it's time to go to work mm. i'm ready for this i'm tired of feeling like you know feeling broke all the time um and i i just said enough's enough so i went to work and 90 days later i had my first five figure month wow and uh it's just you know gone up from there so um it just i think for me it was finally having my back against the wall right and you got to make something happen you know and mm. that's that's the way it was and i I see that with a lot of other people. Sometimes people struggle to, to find the success in what they, they're doing because they think that they they don't have their back up against the wall yet. Mm. You know, it doesn't the pain of, you know, making something happen is not as great as the pain of being comfortable. Mm. You know? And I think that's what happens with a lot of people. For me, I was the pain of, 
you know, the pain of uh, being uncomfortable was uh, way more. Mm. I was very uncomfortable where I was at and I had to make something happen. So wow. for me, that's kind of my story in a, in a nutshell, you know, awesome. the simplified version. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Well, we want to um, dig a little bit deeper, man, because, you know, um, you probably mm-hmm. are aware that a lot of people are looking to figure out this internet thing right um the world Mm -hmm. is changing we're in a different era now and people uh for the most part are Mm -hmm. beginning to wake up to how powerful things like uh, the internet social media has become in regards to how you're going to build your business from home right but um it can be daunting man it can be a a lot there's an ocean there's a wealth of information out there there's so many people uh who are telling you they're the one you should follow right and for that new yeah. person, you're probably the most qualified person to ask this question or answer this question. Yeah. Um, what kind of advice do you have, man, for a person who wants to really figure out this online marketing, uh, this this online marketing thing, man? Yeah, I think the biggest thing is to find a mentor, find someone who you trust, who's, you know, is where you want to be. Um, and listen to them. You know, one of the biggest problems online is that people are listening to too many voices Mm. and because there's voices that are all over the place. I mean, all you gotta do is go on Facebook and you see one person telling you that email marketing is dead. And (laughs) while you have another person saying, Hey, email is the way to go, you know? And then, and then you have one person saying, Hey, you need to learn how to do webinars because webinars are awesome, which I love webinars. <laughs> and then you find somebody who's got an ad on Facebook that says webinars are dead, you know? <laughs> so it, what's happening is you got these conflicting messages yes. because you know, you end up listening to too many voices and, uh, that can cause massive confusion. And right. so my biggest advice is find somebody you trust, find somebody that's, you know, doing the deal and dive in with them. You know, if, if it means hiring them to, you know, coach you do that, whatever it takes, you just got to get around somebody, but you got to be very careful listening to too many voices because it will confuse you to no end because one person says one thing, one, the other person says, you know, the, the other thing, and it's just both ends of the spectrum. And, you know, everybody does things differently. You know, um, I'm a huge fan of webinars and selling on webinars and, you know, some people don't go down that route. Mm-hmm. So you have to kind of choose and pick what you like and who you trust, really. So Wow, wow, that's good stuff, man. Well, Mark, how long did it take you to figure this out? I mean, uh, there had to be a point in time where, again, you were just beginning, right? And like yeah. you said, you had the pressure of trying to make more money. You had the pressure of getting yourself out of a hole, only having $7 in your bank account. You had that at the back of your mind at the same time, still having to be focused enough to learn the skill set, how long did it take you to figure out that A, you had to find a mentor, B, you had to plug in to what they were doing, and C, you had to be consistent? How long did it take you to, to figure this out? Well, I started, you know, in my home business career in the year 2000. It wasn't until 2012 I had a, my first six figure year. So, mm. you know, I was, it was a 12 year, you know, period of time there where. You know, number one, I had to, I was a super shy person, you know, very kind of introverted, uh, wasn't as outgoing. You know, I was, once I got comfortable, I was usually okay, but you know, so I had to learn to come out of my shell and, uh, tap into, you know, the abilities that, that God gave me. And for me, that was, uh, a process, you know, of discovery of, Hey, you know what? I am good at this. You know, I am good at this. I can do this. And that is different for everybody. You know, uh, I, I was talking to a potential client the other day and then, you know, they had made the statement of, uh, well, you know, how can I know for sure that I'm going to make money doing this? I'm oh, like, yeah. I don't know. Oh, I yeah. can't, I can't, <laughs> I can't tell you that you're going to make any money. Right. Like, first of all, I never do that because it's like against the law. I'm never going to guarantee you you'll make money. Uh, and because, you know, I don't know a person's work ethic. Their journey is different. Right. Uh, the way they present themselves is going to be different than me. So, you know, the real, really, it comes down to, uh, you've got to just really find out what your strengths are, you know, find out what, what God gave you that is, you know, something that you can tap into and use as a strength. And, but for me, it was a 12 year journey of, you know, ups and downs and, 
you know, disappointments. And I, there are so many times I could have quit throughout that 12 years. And, uh, you know, I'm just so glad I didn't. Um, mm. because I think I was just too stupid to quit. <laughs> right, 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 right. You know, or back too in driven. 2012, when I got that bug planted in my head, it was like, you know, what, what would I do if time and money were no issue, you know? Yeah. And, uh, so that just kind of stuck with me. So, you know, for me now today, it's just, uh, you know, what can I do to help others realize that, you know? And it's, wow. it's, uh, that's where I'm at now, you know? Wow. So. Wow. Well, you know what, Mark, I want to point something out. We, you know, like we've had the, we've been blessed, I should say, to interview uh, uh, so far quite a few successful people like yourself. And one common thing is the experience, even though uh, online you might see the narrative, make money fast, make money now. It won't take long to make money. Right. Um, do you think that's a broken message? And maybe it's time to update that message. And because so far, all of the successful people that we've had the pleasure of speaking to 12 years for mm -hmm. you, 15 years, 10 years, seven yeah. years, five years, and it's taken a while. Nothing was overnight. And that's the real story. Right. And all the value is there in that story. But it's uh, often uh, hidden online because so, so many times you yeah. see people promoting the get money fast kind of thing. What do you think about that? Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I, I think it really depends uh, because like like I, I talk about how I, you know, it took me 12 years, but it wasn't until something snapped and 90 days later, you know, I mm. had a five figure month. Yeah. Wow. So that 90 days was pivotal for me, you know, and it was I, I just remember like all of a sudden I was like. Yeah, I just went into balls to the wall action mode. And next thing I know, you know, I've got five leads, 10 leads, 20 leads, 40, 50, 60, 70 leads a day coming in. And next thing I know, sales start popping. You know, in my first month, I ended it with, you know, $3,000. And the next month, 7,000. And then the month after that, like 11, 12,000. And I'm like, holy cow. So can it happen? Of course it can. It can absolutely happen. But it really is going to come down to the individuals where they're at in their journey. And um, I always tell people, I mean, I really think you're 90 days away from a major breakthrough. And uh, but, you know, I mean, there's there's a lot that goes into that, too. You know, is it possible? 100 percent. Is it possible to make fast money? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Is it probable? Are the numbers against you? Absolutely. <laughs> you know, like. You know, maybe you have yeah. one chance in 10 that you can do that. Uh, it's hard to say it. It every individual is different. And, and it's like, you know, we love to systematize stuff. I'm all about systematizing stuff as much as possible. Mm -hmm. But, you know, there's one variable in every system, and that is the person operating it. Mm -hmm. And and so every person is different. And um, so. You know, I, I'm not necessarily against the message of the make money fast because I believe it's possible. Right. But I think you also have to look at it with some perspective, you know, from a realistic standpoint. I'm one of those guys that I'm also a realist. Mm -hmm. Like I, I, you know, one time I asked somebody, um, so what's your ultimate goal? I want to impact a billion people and I want to make <laughs> this bump. And I'm like, OK, that's cool. But let's get real. Right. OK, that's great. And that's a lofty goal, but I'm also kind of like, let's hit, let's set some goals we can actually hit, mm -hmm. hit those goals, and then let's set some new ones. Mm -hmm. See, and I think sometimes people set such big lofty goals that they, it's like they don't really know how they're going to actually even reach, you know, the first, you know, stepping stone of that. Mm -hmm. And um, so I, I'm kind of a realist. I'm like, I like growth like this. Some people experience growth like that. I like slow, steady, consistent growth. Cause I think that that is where you're, you're able to really maintain wow. and, um, you know, wow, that's, that's, good. that's my, my thinking. Some people might disagree with me on that, but this is my interview. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you this, man, because when people yeah. from the outside looking in, and I'm talking uh, specifically about folks getting started and they want to uh, become uh, better at online in their marketing for their business. And they may look at you and they may say, man, geez, this guy's got an uh, incredible looking website. His videos are high quality. 
is you know he he speaks well you know he knows how to deliver his message and they might be thinking hey do i need to duplicate this guy because i'm, I'm missing a few things as far as my skill set is there a core group of things right a core group of items that a newbie needs to focus on out of the gate because uh when people get started trying to figure out the online thing as you probably already already mm -hmm. know they're, they're buying this instagram course they're over here trying to figure out yeah. this email uh power lead system and all this stuff but yeah. um what is it that the newbie should focus on which is like the fundamentals would you say so really the fundamentals come down to three things. Uh, it's build, engage, sell. Those are the three real core values I think of online marketing and build is build a list, build an audience. So within that, it, it means, you know, uh, learning lead generation, you know, learning a strategy, learning how to build a basic funnel, coming up with an offer, you know, having an offer. And then you have engage, you know, it does no good to generate a bunch of leads and then never engage them, never, mm. you know, uh, uh, get together, you know, do a webinar and give some free value away, do a video, uh, and send it out to your, your list or, or give it to your audience. And then when, when the time comes and you have something to offer to sell, uh, you have a, a, an audience that is ready and raring to buy, you know? Mm. And, um, when it comes to the the online thing, I think a lot of people get lost also in this sense of it sounds great on the marketing side. And I, I, you know, I really, you know, like if somebody like says, like you said, they look at me and they, you know, they see, well, oh, why do I have to duplicate what Mark's doing? Look, man, I told you like in 2012, I had my breakthrough year. Do you know that my videos, I was living in Chile. I was living in a house that was like 50 years old. It had a a bright green like neon green wall behind me with orange <laughs> curtains oh man you know in, in this house in south america and my video camera sucked i mean it was really bad and the quality was horrible some of those videos are still out there and my gosh i built a six-figure income based on those types of videos that were unedited wow and they were just literally me talking on a webcam and um so you know, here I am 10 years later when I started online, 2008, 2009, so a little over 10 years. Uh, it's not like I woke up, you know, in 2008 and all of a sudden I have these skills, you know, mm -hmm. it's like, you know, just plug in and, you know, automatically I have them. It's been a little bit at a time failing here, breaking something, doing something wrong. Every little step is a learning process. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I've, you know, done things wrong and 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 failed in the process but throughout that you gain wisdom and you gain the skills i mean i'm, I'm 10 years into this mm. into this online marketing thing so i've acquired a ton of skills uh things that uh you know have taken time to build and i think that's where uh, people need to learn to approach this online thing just like you would anything any career really mm. you know you can't you know, definitely coming in and thinking you're going to make a million bucks, you know, by next week is not realistic. Treat it like a career. If it took you three, four, five years before you had success, uh, will it have been worth it? I'm mm -hmm. here to tell you, I took 12 years before I had a breakthrough and I shudder to think, and I'm so grateful that I never stopped, you wow. know, wow. because, uh, you know, I wouldn't, wouldn't have the freedom that I have today to make decisions for myself, you know? um and uh live life on my terms and that's really what it's about so wow, that's amazing can we can we talk about that man um because you know here's mm -hmm. the thing you know uh you spoke a little bit about uh you know having uh the pressure of life on your back as you were trying to learn all of the, the different things necessary mm -hmm. to grow your business um you know what kept mm -hmm. you focused man i think a lot of people probably want to know what kept you focused moving forward and not getting distracted or discouraged Mm -hmm. uh you mean like in the time and the down times yeah because i'm sure there were times where you probably yeah. thought man is this going to work am i spending time on this and it's not really going to work yeah. i mean the early days the dark times oh, yeah i mean i thought that all the time <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i i think you know what it, it was a combination of things i think it was a matter of the fact that 
you know, I eventually I had moved out of air conditioning technician and I moved into sales and I was doing corporate sales for air conditioning. And oh man, I got into that and it was great at first. And then I realized this, this sucks, man. Like, mm. you know, it's like, oh great. You just made an awesome sale. Now what? Mm. You know, it's like kind of realizing like, you know, that, you know, cycle of, of how it was in corporate America. And I just, so I think it was a combination of what else do I got? I'm not happy with what I'm doing. I want to do something else, but I don't want to go get another job. Right. <laughs> you know? Right. So it was kind of like, I, I was just like, what else, what other option do I have? Another, and you know, except to just keep pursuing this. And, you know, God bless my wife. She's been incredibly supportive, you know, mm. even in the, you know, I, we got married in 2003 and it wasn't until 2012, nine years into our marriage where things start taking off. And the whole time she supported me, you know? Wow. And uh, so. Shouts out to the wife. She's just awesome. Shouts out yeah, to the oh, wife. Oh man, she's like amazing. <laughs> Shouts out to all the wives I mean, out there amazing. holding it down while, while, while the husband goes <laughs> yeah. out there and builds a, a dynasty, right? Can you tell us, Seriously. man, what was the feeling and the emotion, if you can describe it, when you finally hit that five-figure, six-figure uh, point, man? And, and how did your wife feel about it? My wife was like, yeah, baby, get yeah. some more of this. <laughs> you know, I think, you know, I think when that happened, you know, my even though my wife was just always supportive, I think that's when she became a true believer, too. You know, like, hey, this can really work. And, um, but you know, it's, uh, I think it's important. And, you know, I, I also realize some people don't have that, that kind of, you know, um, support. Some people are fighting, um, a, a spouse or, you know, significant other that doesn't support them in that vision. And that's tough. I think the biggest thing with my wife and I though, is that her and I were always very, very good at communicating. Like, you know, really like, you know, keeping her up on what was going on and I'd talk to her about it. And mm. so I think, you know, that alone really helped. And I think, you know, for those people that are having that, that, uh, difficulty, it, it takes a lot of communication, you know, and, um, you know, in every situation, Janique, that might not be the case with, with everybody, but, um, you know, yeah. It's hard. Every situation is different, but I know for me, it was just a matter of, I had to keep pressing forward, you know? Right, and, right. um, when I, and I was living in Chile when my business took off. Mm. So, you know, I didn't, I didn't have to make a ton of money, you know, $2,000 a month was like, you know, that was a lot of money to live on in Chile. You know, mm. most people didn't had maybe a quarter of that, wow, you know? Wow. So, and we lived in a four bedroom, you know, two bath house. And, uh, you know, in Chile, that was in paying 500 bucks a month in rent. You know, I mean, oh, that's man. nothing. Wow. Wow. So. Wow. Well, let me ask you this, um, just to go into a different mm -hmm. direction, but I think most people want to know this from you. Uh, and I want to find out if you have an opinion about this. Um, uh, obviously we're in a new era, mm -hmm. technology era, the internet's booming, social mm -hmm. media is out of control. Right. But um, how mm -hmm. much, as far as an entrepreneur, especially working from home, how much would you say of your business needs to be online? How serious should entrepreneurs, especially in the home, work from home industry, how serious should they now be taking the Internet as far as building an online presence for their business? Or, or should I, they? I think it's. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's absolutely vital. I mean, the we're, you know. I still believe in very much in, you know, building relationships. I mean, I think that'll never, I think, and really their internet's kind of coming full circle, uh, really, um, in the sense of you should have an online presence and, and not only that, but when I say full circle, you know, like 10 years ago, 15 years ago, it was kind of like the wild west online. Mm. People just went to websites and bought without even really knowing who they were buying from. You know, it was mm. just like, oh, it's on a website. It must be real, you know? Right, right. <laughs> and so, you know, making sales and stuff, it was just a matter of send a bunch of traffic and people are going to buy stuff. Well, today, the good old days. that's changed. <laughs> this, yeah, yeah, the good old days, man. You, know, you didn't have to really sell. You just had to, you know be there <laughs> you didn't really have to provide much value you could just sell and people would buy you know yeah and uh but 
but nowadays, you know, with social media um, being so prevalent, um, you know, I think a presence is is crucial. People want to know who they're buying from. Um, you know, they are the consumers more skeptical, um, and rightfully so. I mean, there's a lot of crap online. Yeah. Uh, people have been, you know, they've experienced it in one way or another where, you know, they've maybe invested in something, uh, a false expectation was created mm-hmm. and, you know, they felt like they got, you know, I, I'm always hesitant to use the word scammed because, you know, yeah. not everything is a scam just because you call it a scam, you know, right. They're, but the, the, the point is, is that I think people are just getting smarter, you know, and they're going to be very careful who they, uh, invest with or who they, who they talk with. And I think that's why it's important to have a presence online because, you know, people need to know, I mean, uh, you know, I've, you go to YouTube and I mean, my gosh, there's thousands of videos with me in it, you know, and over time that's, you know, if people want to know about me, they can go and search me, you know, and, and see about me. And, you know, there's no, there's no hiding it. And I think that that's really, uh, something to, to keep in mind that we live in a very transparent world, you know? And I think too, this is where for me, like I take my reputation very, very seriously. Like I, I love to make money, but I'm not in it to make a buck and run. Like I want to make sure I'm providing value and there's going to be those times where people don't see the value and I'm okay with that too. But you just have to be real careful. It's a very transparent world. You know, you can spend years building up a good reputation, but one stupid move can ruin that reputation, Wow. you know? And, um, so I, I just, some every business move is very careful for me. I'm very careful what I promote. I don't promote anything. I don't really can't get behind. Um, so just some, some things to think about. So it's, is it important to have a presence online? I mean, I, I don't see how you can get around it nowadays. Right, so. right, right. And Mark, you kind of touched on something and it's a popular conversation in the home business industry, especially for yeah. folks who haven't really made a transition to where they're online building the presence that you're talking about. Um, mm-hmm. It's the whole it's the whole building a relationship. Can you build yeah. a relationship online? No, it's not possible. Some would say, oh, it's very possible. This is the digital yeah. belly to belly age. What do you have an opinion yeah. on that? So think about this. This is the first time you and I have ever been on, uh, have ever talked to each other. True that. So, so, you know, when you think about it, like, how did you know about me? I'm just using you and me as an example. You know, did you yeah. see, you just maybe saw my content out there for a while, things like that, mm-hmm. you know, and it really is, you can build a, a relationship on a mass scale, you know, and, um, that's where the sharing of, of value um, you know, uh, in videos, I think video is just a prime example of how you can build a relationship with people. And, you know, there's one thing I do want to point out. And I think this is very, very important because, um, it's very popular, especially around home business. People are like, Hey, you know, I'm just, I want to build relationships first, money second. And I'm that on the surface, that sounds really, really good. Mm-hmm. But the reality of it is too, is that I always tell people like, totally go out, build great relationships. But at some point, if you don't, a transaction doesn't take place, you're just making a lot of friends. Mm. Mm. (laughs) You know, you're not Mm. really building a business. You're just making a lot of friends. And that in and of itself is not bad. But, you know, there's also has to be some type of transaction. And I believe that you can have really good quality friendships and have, you know, make money at the same time. You know, and that that is a really important distinction to make. Uh, um, and I'm very personable. I mean, I, I get on, you know, my messenger and I answer messages and as much as possible. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's how you and I really, you know, started talking. And yep. um, and that's that's ultimately what it is. So you have to be still willing to get out there, connect with your audience. Um, and you can do that on a on a mass scale, too, with technology today. So. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's good stuff, Mark. Will you go ahead and give out your social media website or anything like that? And the family can get in touch if they like to. Yeah, I mean, uh, you can find me on Facebook. Um, I have my page at Mark Harbor Training uh, or no, excuse me, uh, Success with Mark. And then my blog at MarkHarbor.com. I mean, that's really the best way. 
So awesome, 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 man, Mike. We definitely appreciate you coming on to the Builders Club TV yeah. show. We hope that we can see you My again. Pleasure, man. Uh, we could pick your brain all night, man. Uh, there's so much to learn from you, man, <laughs> and uh, it would be awesome. Definitely got to have you back, um, Mark. Before we let you go, however, we have a new game that mm -hmm. we play with our guests, man. That uh, a lot of people have been enjoying mm -hmm. so far, and we call it Mark a word with a mentor. And basically, how it works, man. It's real, a lot of fun. Uh, we give you a word, right? And then you'll quickly mm -hmm. give us a word of advice using that word. So it's a word with a mentor, man. You ready to play, man? Gotcha. Let's do it. Let's do it, man. So, okay, here we go, Mark. The first word that we have for you is now. Uh, take action now. Love it, love it. Don't, not, not tomorrow, now. Now, you heard that, family. The next word we have for you is money. Oh, money, money. Uh, your relationship with money uh, will make a big difference in your success. Mm. The relationship with money. Major so. key. Definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm. The next word is lost. Oh, lost. Uh, that was a horrible TV show, by the way. I didn't like it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's my advice. Uh, lost. We'll take it. Um, yeah, that, that works. There you go. We'll All take right. it. The next. I watched the first. I watched the first. I watched the first season, and it made me so angry at the end. It left me hanging. I said, "That's it. I'm done." You, you heard that, family? <laughs> if you didn't hear anything else during the course of this interview, remember that. So, <laughs> so here we go. The next word is mentor. Mentor. Oh man, find yourself a mentor. No, no question. Uh, I think that that's the key to success. I did. I I made six figures on my own. Uh, but I could not get past that until I hired a mentor. And once I hired a mentor, I went to over half a million dollars in one year. Wow. And uh, it wasn't until that that uh, I got a mentor. So get wow. one, hire one, find somebody that's willing to work with you and go for it. Wow. So. Wow. Take note, family. The last word we got for you, Mark, is journey. Enjoy the journey. Mm. Enjoy it. I mean, you know. Uh, when is it going to happen for you? That's when everybody says, when's it going to happen for me? I don't know. Could be 10, 20. Who knows? I mean, everybody it could be a year, could be six months, but uh, you got to enjoy that process. I'm still on a journey. You know, I, uh, and the journey's not always easy. No matter what level you get at, uh, you're always going to have obstacles, but you got to enjoy the journey. You know, mm -hmm. once you start making money, there's new problems that come at you. Like wow. Uncle Sam wants his cut. Make sure you're doing Definitely. your part there to pay him. You know? Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. You wow, know? wow. Powerful yeah. stuff, Mark. We appreciate your time, yeah. man. Again, we definitely going to have you back. In fact, Mark, uh, debuting soon, sure. we're actually working on it, is uh, a new series we call uh, A Day in the Life. And this basically is the lifestyles of the rich and famous for the home business industry. And it's basically where mm -hmm. we'll turn the camera on like this, and it's uh, personal development meets lifestyle. So whether you're showing us uh, the awesome studio that you work out of and how you yeah. get down, or maybe you're showing us the books that you read, maybe you're uh, you know having yeah. a a great dinner at home or you're out shopping wherever the case might be it's an opportunity us an opportunity sure. for us to go on a virtual field trip and plug into the lifestyle and get yep. some more of those golden nuggets you've been delivering all night man so hopefully we can have you back for that brother it'll be a major major deal yeah that'd be sounds good i'm all i'm all in man awesome awesome well uh builders club tv family mark harbert we'll see you next time peace see you guys